Okay, I think we're good. All right, yay. Okay, I'm gonna come around, get kind of settled in here. I'm gonna get my screen going over here as well. Let's see here. Um, okay. All right, wonderful. All right, everybody. Um, Welcome, welcome to our quick little impromptu Facebook Live. Um, and this is not a, hey, what's new live? This is a, let me show you a little bit about a product that we just got in. So I am Hannah from the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana. And today I want to just demo for you real quick the, hey guys, how are you? The mini mink machine. So I got these in just the other day and thank you so much. We only got a couple in. You guys rocked it and we, we sold out of them already. So I'm putting an order in because we have a couple more crafty friends that wanted to take advantage of the bundle. So I thought, you know what? Um, I need to do a quick little technique video because these are people that were ordering it that just wanted a better machine. Okay, so they already knew how to do their foiling with a with a like a toner based foil, and they were just wanting a a better machine. Um, so for those of you that have not toner foiled before, I wanted to do a little video to introduce you to that. So I'm looking at my screen here to make sure since I'm doing this kind of on the fly, just in case you have any questions, I do have my, my laptop over here. All right, so what I've got here, this is the Mink Machine. So the Mink Machine was introduced um, by Hottie Swap and um, American Crafts years ago, and Pink and Maine now has their own version. And what makes it different? It's cute and it's pink. So um, super, super fun. This is the little box right here. Um, and then we'll talk about the bundle deal as well. See you. Thank you. Hey, are you guys going on strike? Be careful a little bit with our orders. So good luck for you guys. Sorry. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was my UPS guy. I'm so worried about my packages getting to you guys and, and going out. I know they're in their, their talks about going on strike and such. So and I just took my earbuds out, so let me make sure my earbuds are connected. I hope they are. Okay, so if I got eyeballs on here, and I've got a few of you, let me know if the sound is okay, or if I need to re reset here. Um, I would appreciate that, because I have to keep my sound off on my laptop, otherwise we get an echo, so. All right, so anyway, Mink Machine. So in your Mink box, what are you gonna get? You're gonna get your machine, all right? Also in there, you're going to get your carrier sheet. You're going to get a couple little toner guys to play with. You're going to get a sheet of gold and a sheet of silver. And then you're also going to get a great little owner's manual. And in here, it talks about what the different buttons mean. And then it also has um, a little table that shows you the different heat levels and what those are used for. Now. Mine is on a five because I'm going to be doing toner cardstock. All right. And that's on here as well. Um, number five is for chipo, chipboard toner reactive glitter sheets, which I think that's what I'm using. But there's also a four, which is for uncoated cardstock, three lightweight coated papers, heavy coated paper. Um, let's see, two light coated paper, lightweight vellum, glossy stickers. Um, one is glassing bags, printed overlays, and then zero is pressure or adhesive transfer, so no heat. So whenever you use like gel mediums or tacky when dry can go through here as well, and it'll run through at a zero, so it's going to give you good pressure, but no heat. So Stacy says we're good. Thank you, Stacy. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and play just a little bit so I can show you how to use this. So my machine 
Um, it has been on for a little bit, but this machine, what sets it apart from a regular laminator is it gets hotter and hotter quicker, okay? Which is what you want with this toner-based foiling, so you're going to have better results with it, all right? I also grabbed just off the shelf, um, different companies have different little toner-based packets. I just chose one from Tailored Expressions off the shelf. We also carry some... Um, Photoplay has some great stuff that they're coming out with with their papers that they print that you can also run through your mink and glitter um, or foil. And then, well, of course, Pink and Main does too. So, uh, but I just pulled off real quick one um, one that's been on the shelf and it was from Tailored Expressions. It's part of, it goes with a set with one of the little stencils. Okay, so got this little guy here. So I'm gonna kind of just move my mink up just a little bit and then I did pull out my spellbinders little trimming tool this is called the quick trimmer and my crafty friends that do the glimmer machine love this glimmer foil and toner foil are different okay so do keep that in mind but they're both super thin, okay? So I thought this is gonna be great, even if you don't use the glimmer machine, this is a great um, kind of add-on tool for doing your toner base foiling. So this is one of the sheer foils from Pink and Main. Check, make sure I just heard a beep, all right. Making sure that wasn't anybody commenting. All right, so whenever you get it, you've got this nice little white sticker strip, which is wonderful. Do not throw this away, okay? Keep this, because then that is what you're gonna use to put your roll back together so you don't have foil going everywhere. All right, so I've got that. Pull just a little bit out here. Here is my little toner piece, and so you can see it's black. So if you just wanted to use it as is, it's going to be perfect. It would be a cute little background on a card, but these are meant to be foiled. All right, so I'm going to put my foil underneath my trimmer. Yep, checking my camera here. You guys can see that perfect. I'm going to put the lid on top here. It just lays on, okay? Nothing fancy. You can line it up and all that good stuff. I just want to make sure I have enough foil, a little bit of excess here, don't need a lot, but you don't want to cut it so close in case it would shift. So I'm going to run my little blade right along in here. And I think I skipped a spot up top. Did I get it? Since I'm kind of working in front. Oh, yeah, I got it. All right. So this, I'm going to roll back up. Put this handy little guy back on. Well, if I would do it evenly, you too can show, shoot your own toner glimmering, glittering videos. I still did not get it on right. Sweet Jesus. Gotta love me. Okay, so there we go. So now I can put it back in the box and it is good to go. So move this to the side, pull this out. See, it's just easier than doing it with a scissors. You've got to have a really long scissors. It's really delicate. You get jaggedy edges. Um, sometimes if you're me, um, you get a little jaggedy edge and it goes in to your sheet and then you have to recut your foil because you didn't cut your foil big enough. And then you get mad at yourself for wasting your foil. All right, so now I've got that cut. This guy to the side. I'm going to take my carrier. I'm going to put it right into my carrier. Like so, oh, let's talk about this. So this is your glue, basically. So you want your glue side, so you want pretty side up, okay? So pretty side up. Put that right in there like so. Just wanna make sure it's just gonna hold itself in, okay? But I wanna make sure that all of, here we go, let me flip it over. So everything is covered, okay? All right, and then I'm gonna run it through my machine. So this is the front of the machine. If you accidentally put it through the back, nothing happens. You've got little rollers that are rolling right now. So I'm going to put it in. And then we're just going to let it do its thing. Okay. Uh, maybe that's my issue. I have deco foils and a and mink foil. Okay. Um, oh, I haven't talked about how much yet. So I will. Okay, I will. I just want to show you how to use the machine first. Haven't done that yet. 
So it is coming along now. While it is rolling through though, and I can let it cool, um, we got in a bunch of really, really fun foils from Pink and Main. And they've got a lot more than this. And we sold out of some too. So this one here is the Starry and Silver. And it's all called Cheer Foil. So here's the Starry Silver. And I think that is what I'm using. Yes, so it ran through. I'm going to let it just cool. I can do it now, but I'm talking. So it's all good. This next one here is Sparkle Red. I love this one. This one is Waterfall in Teal. Flowers in Silver. Oh, you can't see because there's that little white piece there. There we go. This one here is Watercolor Warm. This one here, I, li I really like this one. This one here is Shattered. Uh, let's see, Candy Swirl. And then probably one of the big sellers, this one here is the Prism Rainbow. So any of the rainbow ones always do well. They're, they're fun as well. All right, so those are some of the foils that we've got in. And I am placing an order today. So if there's other foils that you want um, or those foils, let me know. And then that way, if I run out, I can add those on as well. All right, so I'm going to take this guy out of my carrier sheet. As you can see, it did not ruin the carrier sheet at all. So that is a reusable part. And watch this. Okay, it's already wanting to come apart. So let me make sure I am in camera. See? As easy as that. Is that not beautiful? I love it. And I'm looking. I mean, there's no missed little spots at all. Sometimes if you do get missed spots, usually what that is, um, it's a little pieces of dust that may have been on your surface. So making sure you wipe your surface off is a good thing. Now, if you're like me, and I can say this because I am, I've got my good German heritage and I can't waste that. I mean, that is so wasteful. What, what do I do with that? I have to do something with this. I can't just throw it away. I mean, goodness sakes, God forbid I, I throw away like, you know, what is this, 20 cents worth of foil that I've already used? No, we cannot do that. So that's when you get toner sheets. Um, these for years have been in black. That's the only color option that we had. But Pink and Main has figured out and come out with colored ones. All right. So I already pulled out the red sheet. Okay. And I've already got one that I cut down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it back through the mink again. All right, remember, you went pretty side up. You want to see it because this is your glue on the back. You want that to bond. Okay, I want to line this one up a little better. Put it in here like so. Okay, and now I'm going to run it back through the machine again. We're going to, it's already grabbing, doing its thing. So while that one's running through now, Miss Stephanie, let's talk about price. So minks are 100, okay? And the bundle deal that I have going on right now is that whenever you get a mink, you can pick not one, but two rolls of foil at 50% off, okay? Rolls of foil are $13.29 each, all right? So basically you're getting $13 off the machine, if you kind of think of the math that way, because it, you've got a little bit in here, but you're going to need foil, okay? And who wants just one color? So you're, you're going to buy the foil anyway. So if you look at it, I'm going to buy the foil. I'm getting $13 off. That brings our minks down to what, 87 bucks, all right? And if you go on Amazon, that beats the Amazon price. All right. And and you're not shopping Amazon. You're shopping an actual store, a small store, um, not a warehouse store either. This is one where you can actually come in, touch product, feel product, all that good stuff. So um, I guess what I'm saying is you feel good about the purchase, too. OK. And, and I'll just put my little plug and don't forget, I'm a, I'm a single mom with three boys in college this year. So we got we got to sell some mink machines here, girls. Um, but that's our bundle deal that we've got going on. And it, it really is a great deal. So again, it would be 113 altogether, but that's going to get you the machine and two rolls that you get a pick. 
It's not two rolls that I've had sitting on the shelf that are old that I want to get rid of. This is not a, hey, let's bundle some stuff so I can get rid of old stuff. You can pick the colors and I will add them to my next order. Pick the brand new ones, whatever works for you. Um, but it's just a fun little machine. It's a great deal. It's a good little machine too. Um, everyone that has a mink, I have only ever heard good things about them. So that is... That's my, that is my bundle deal for you guys today. Um, if you can get that order into me as quickly as possible, that would be great because I do want to place that order today. Now I'm going to peel this up. I've got some bubbles in here and I'm going to see how that turned out. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this back down and I'm going to run it back through. So I'm going to try and take some of those bubbles out and then I'm going to run it back through. There we go. You got to stick your tongue out like that too, just so you know. It helps. All right. Got to run him back through. So worst case scenario, if by doing that, it got off aligned a little bit and I don't cover in those spots. All right. So what do I do with this now? All right. Well, if I want to use it as a background still, I'm just going to put my other layers over my oop spots. Okay. If I cannot cover my oop spots, what am I going to do then? Well, then I'm going to take my die cut machine and I'm going to use some of my dies and I'm going to die cut this piece. So I'm still going to do fun stuff with this piece right here. I can cut it into strips, use it for little bits and pieces that way. So it's definitely not one that's going to go to waste or anything like that. All right, still got a few little oops spots. Yeah, my big bubble did not come out. But let me show you. So there's my little bubble. But look how cool that is. And I was being pretty, pretty cocky doing such a big panel, you know, like this. Um, usually I do smaller ones. But look at how fun, fun, fun that is. Love it. But yeah, you can see where it wrinkled just a little bit. So let's see, do I have, I do have another one. Let's try it again. So I am very new with the toner. I, I'm good with my glimmer machine, but the toner machine, I'm a little, I've done basic stuff. Oh, well this one here, I've got a little skip in that one anyway, but let's, let's try it again. Let's just try it again. Why not, right? It's only live. It's only live TV here. See, at least you know it's not like those cooking shows when it looks like it's a hot mess and then they just take one out of the oven that's been in there and looks beautiful and perfect and staged. I wonder you know, what we could do to, to make sure the bubbles weren't there. I'm not for sure, but we're going to run this one through too. But you guys get the idea of what you can do with the toner pieces. So, so pretty. And again, if it was something smaller, it's going to, I mean, because this area looks great. So it's going to go through a much better whenever you're not doing something so, so big, taking on um, quite a challenge there. I love a good challenge. Let's see how this one's doing. Not as many bubbles this time. That's good. I did lay this one a lot flatter. Okay. It's still a little hot there. Okay, well, let's check it out. Oh yeah, much, much better. So this one I definitely could use as a background. Just trim that down, have a cute little background piece in there. How fun is that? And again, this was just from my piece I was gonna throw away anyway. So, so, so fun. This one here, like I said, what I would probably do is just die cut some fun stuff out of this. Oh, words you know, doing um, some sentiments out of this, that would be really, really cool. And it, a little bit of the cracking here and there would not matter at all. So that's going to be really fun for some neat little sentiments as well, too. So there we go. All right. Now I'm going to give you a second. Let's see if anybody, I know I don't have tons of eyeballs because this is totally unplanned, not a normal scheduled time. So let's see. Um, or should I say, can you use with the plates? Um, all right, so I'm not for sure what machine Starla has, Melissa, um, if she she has a glimmer machine. So these are two different things. So you're, you're talking about apples and oranges. 
two totally different things. So this only does the toner based stuff. And I'm glad you mentioned that because Spellbinders does have a glimmer machine. Your glimmer machine is a hot plate that you run through a die cut machine. All right. And what you're doing is you're heating up that metal die and then you're putting a heat activated foil on top. And basically that hot metal die is melting it to your paper. Okay. This one is totally different. There are no dyes involved. So this sometimes is a good way or it's, it's a different way that people start because one, if I don't have a big shot or a platinum machine from Spellbinders, what am I going to, I now have to buy two machines. Okay. So there's, there's that. If you already have a big shot or a platinum and you invested in that, it's a little easier to add that glimmer machine on because it's another way for you to use your die cut machine. All right. This little guy here is standalone. This is all that you need. You don't need anything else as well. Um, some of you may have, you know, like shoulder problems, hand strength problems. And so it is a lot harder. Maybe, I mean, Running the glimmer through is very, very easy though. But I'm just thinking, you know, things that may steer you more towards this. Honestly, I think a lot of you have both, okay? Because it is total, it's a different look and it gives you different options. And this is really quick as well too. I mean, you can slap a card together very quick with this mink. I mean, you, you plug it in, you turn it on, heats up automatically. You're just gonna send it through real, real quick and you're done. But yes, totally different. So I really can't say which one is better because we're, we're talking apples and oranges. And I don't know what's better, an apple or an orange. I love them both. So the Glimmer Machine and the Mink Machine are both very, very good machines. I, I carry them both. I stand behind both of them. So um, kind of two different machines totally here. This one here is toner-based. So yes, you will have to have things that are pre-printed or you're going to need to take them to a copy store and have them copied on a toner-based machine. Keep in mind, not all toner-based machines are the same. So make sure they just have a good quality printer, okay? Because I know some of the companies that I've ordered from before, they're not as good as others on these little packets, okay? So I know there must be kind of a difference with, with toner-based stuff. But yes, you will need toner things to use with this little guy. But like I've said, Tailored Expressions has them. I know we, I think almost every order, we get in something from um, from Tailored Expressions that, that has toner-based stuff. And then also Pink and Main. Pink and Main, this, this line is very new for them. So they keep adding on to it. So you're going to see more and more support from them with this line as well. I mean, they're vested in it. Like they've, they've, you know, bought the rights to do an exclusive mink machine for them. So you know, they're going to be vesting in this machine as well. All right. So perfect. I think I, I got your, got your question answered then. Thank you for commenting back. So all right, so one more time, my friends, our bundle here at the Doodlebug is you get your mink machine, you get to pick out two rolls that you want, and your rolls will both be 50% off. That's going to save you over $13. So if you want to use that savings, um, you know, to kind of take off on the machine, that's going to, you know, decrease your machine price by $13, which again, takes it down to the price that you're going to find one on Amazon. And who knows how long it's been in that warehouse. And it is not, it is not the new pink ones from Pink and Main, which are brand new. Let me go ahead and turn this guy off, which are brand new. Um, you know, again, because sometimes whenever you order from them, you, you don't know where's it coming from, how long has it been sitting there, all that kind of good stuff. So these are brand new machines. Actually, the machine you're going to get um, will just come right out of their warehouse because I'm going to be placing that order later today. So if you know you want to make machine, you love the demo, you're like, oh my gosh, that's doable. Even I could, I mean, if Hannah can run it through, um, I can run it through. So if that, you know, 
as, if you are that crafty friend, then just let me know here in the comments. You can message me, you can email us, you can call us, whatever. And then we will get a machine added on to the order for you. And if you already know what color foils you want, let me know that as well. So I can make sure I order those, or you can just pick from what we've got in store whenever you come to pick up your machine. So, all right, until next time, my friends, I am Hannah at the Doodle Bug in Jasper, Indiana. You can shop us online um, 24 hours a day at www thedoodlebuginc.com um, but I hope you guys enjoy this little technique video and if you have a mink that's been sitting on your shelf for a few years get it out dust it off turn it on um, and fall back in love with foil again because like I said pink and main they have got some of the cutest foils that they have been coming out with not just our old plain colors of red green blue things like that these are really fun fun colors that that they have been producing so all right everybody thanks so much let me know if you want a bundle and um we'll see you soon bye i gotta get up and turn the camera off